So, Limhi, you were speaking here today. Can you tell us a little bit about what you were talking about or the panel you were involved with? So I was talking about, I was specifically speaking about fast charging, uh, but it was more at a materials level. So trying to understand from the fundamental materials the impact that that's going to have on fast charging. The panel that I was involved with, they cover all, a whole range of things. So new materials, how those materials are affected by things like lifetime and user cases. and So, yeah. Okay. Um, so what expectation do you have for partnerships like the Faraday Challenge where OEMs work with academia and consultants and how can, how, how can this improve the cell development of process? So that is a, obviously a massive question, <laughs> but it's always good to get things like the Faraday Challenge, which is essentially a, a, a call from the government in order to be able to do something that perhaps wouldn't have been viable before. And so in that respect, I would expect each of the Faraday projects to really turn something up that's useful for industry um, and that's always difficult getting industry and academia to commit like that but I'm, I'm expecting to see something that sort of meets their core um, values and the things that they wanted to deliver on and so if they can deliver on improving lifetime and increasing energy density and hitting some of the um, vehicle targets that we and other OEMs have set then hopefully you know that, that would be a great outcome for me. Uh, do you expect the fast charging issue to be solved soon? And if you can, and if you and if you can, comment on what sort of solutions there might be. So, from a vehicle level, um, we we can solve fast charging. So we've got chemistries that charge in three or four minutes. The problem is coupling that with um, chemistries that are also higher energy density, and so maintaining the mileage and the range that we need for customers. And so. I'm not expecting it to be solved soon. I think that we've already done lots and lots of the groundwork. I think getting everything to come together from a, from a system and a grid level all the way down to an individual vehicle level, I think that those things are, are challenges that we're continuing to move towards. But um, yeah, well within our, our grasp and well within our reach.